So since it's just me and I don't have any help, these clips are acting as my extra hands, an extra person to hold it up for me. And it seems to work pretty well as I used it the same method on the other side. So, <clears throat> so I clip everything up here to hold it in place. And then I go and wherever I'm, whatever end I'm starting at, which is back here, I bring this piece up, up to the back, and then I hold it where I'm going to want it, make sure I got enough overlap for the top, and then down there at the bottom, then I'll, once I get it in position, with two hands I'll get some scissors and then I'll cut it down just below a little ways down and cut along the line here and then before there and then <clears throat> and you can see I'll have to move up and then I'll I'll have less material to have work with because I'll be cutting that and then the more I cut and you gotta cut carefully. You gotta make sure you don't cut too far. Or you gotta recut another piece. And you're just wasting material that way. So, and then it'll go all the way down there. And then, <clears throat> go down here. I'm gonna go underneath here, there. You can see. So then we'll cut and then we'll be back to our wider piece where I can actually uh, use the majority of what I've cut here. But it was easier just to uh, make the whole width first, you know, so you can get the, the, the full width, if I'm making any sense here. Then you can cut it to size as you have it in place like I do with the clips and uh, once you get the cutting part done seems to go not too bad it's it moves pretty fast once you start get it cut like you want it make sure you don't overcut it's better to undercut first and then you can trim where you need it uh, so, okay I'm going to get started here have to set the camera down or turn it off and I'll just start <laughs> gotta find my scissors and then I'll start cutting So here I've got a cut and I got it tucked in here. Looking good. And nice and tight in there. Got my clips on. Got it trimmed out to the shape that it's going to be in. Or that it is. My clips. And I'll glue it up to this point where I reach this corner which will start the next section. So I'll glue up to about here. <clears throat> and then I shall right up to that edge of that window. That's where I want to go. So I'll unclip those so I can expose the two sides, I'll glue it and press it on.
So that section's done. That's where the window is. Cut that out. That'll look good. come over and do this part in a little bit let that drive for a little while don't get too far ahead of yourself But surely. Well, that's essentially done now, and I just got to do some the trim here. As you can see, just tuck that in after this dries really well, and, and then uh, these edges here will all be high hidden from view with the panels that I made. So. I guess I'll end the video right here. Thanks for watching. One thing I wanted to mention was it's 96 degrees today. I'm not, it feels good. There's a nice breeze. And it's not too hot to uh, tack up some upholstery if that's what you're, uh, yeah, what you're about ready to do. So, Okay, thanks again.